COVID is not going away. It's with us for the long haul. In greater Cincinnati, the Omicron surge is pushing hospitals to change protocol, some allowing COVID positive staff to work. Mercy Health COVID positive employees who are asymptomatic or have mild symptoms can now return to work as soon as they choose to do so. Mercy Health declined an interview but said Mercy Health is seeing some of the highest number of COVID-19 hospitalizations since the start of the pandemic. Given the current volume in our communities and the severe strain on our staff and facilities, we've updated our employee return to work. It's in line with CDC guidance for healthcare personnel, updated late December, responding to unprecedented staffing shortages shortages and concerns about patient care. At the crisis level, the CDC recommends no work restrictions for staff with COVID. The final thing that uh, we've we've learned to do uh, quite recently with the CDC guidelines is at the end of five days is bring people back into work. The hard hit Cleveland Clinic has seen a noticeable improvement in available staff since following the CDC's contingency level guidance. Christ Hospital, UC Health, TriHealth, and St. Elizabeth are also following contingency guidance. COVID positive employees can return to work after five days if they have no symptoms or mild symptoms and have been fever free for 24 hours. UC Health has an additional step requiring employees to test negative before returning. I think for healthcare workers going back to work and wearing an N95 mask, you can safely uh, do that because you're protecting yourself and others from spread by the quality of the mask that you're wearing. Now, Children's Hospital tells me they're implementing the CDC's newest guidance, but a representative declined to tell me whether they're operating at that crisis level, which allows those mildly symptomatic people to return to work. Jatera McGee, WLWT News 5.